Thank you for purchasing bulk student practice kits from For Your CNA. This presentation will show you how to unbox and assemble those kits. For every 10 kits purchased, you will receive two boxes, marked box one of two and box two of two. All of the components to assemble 10 practice kits are shipped in these two boxes. Generally speaking, it should take about 15 minutes to assemble all 10 kits. So let's get started. The first thing that you'll need is a clean work surface. Clean your table or other work surface according to your facility protocol and dispose of your cleaning materials. You will need a box one of two and a box two of two to assemble 10 kits. Open each box carefully with a box cutter or other blade and set the protective cardboard strip to the side. Wash your hands before handling any of the items inside the boxes to minimize direct contamination of student use items. After washing your hands, locate box two. Remove the red drawstring bags from box two and lay them out individually on your clean work surface. You will need a space for each bag. You may have to use two or more tables or work surfaces. Once the bags have been distributed, remove all the chucks from the top of box one and lay them onto one of the red bags to expose the items underneath. Remove the gate belts from box one and place one gate belt on top of each red bag. Return to box one and remove the smalls kits which are plastic bags filled with small patient use items. Place one smalls kit on top of each red bag beside the gate belt. Return to box one and remove the emesis basins. Place one smalls kit from the last step into an emesis basin beside the gate belt on each red bag. Return to box one and remove the bath basins and food trays, leaving the drainage bags in the box. Place one wash basin with one food tray inside on top of each red bag. Locate the chucks that you removed from box one earlier. Place three chucks inside each wash basin on top of the food tray. After distributing three chucks inside each wash basin, return to box two. Remove the five inverted bedpans from the box, leaving the soap, lotion, and remaining bedpans in the box for now. Place one bedpan inside each wash basin for the first five kits. Return to box two and remove the remaining bedpans holding the soap and lotion. Place one spray soap and one lotion inside each wash basin on either side of the narrow end of the bedpan or inside the wash basins for the kits that don't have bedpans yet. The last three lotions are inside the triangular graduate container in box one. Now place the remaining bedpans inside the wash basins without bedpans. Return to box one and remove the urinary drainage bags. Place one drainage bag on top of each bedpan. Finally, Remove the triangular graduate containers from box one, insert one emesis basin containing the smalls kit inside the triangular graduate container and put on top of the drainage bag in the bedpan. Now place the gate belt inside the wash basin beside the bedpan. Now that your kits are assembled, simply insert them into the bags. The drawstring can be cinched to keep all of the items secure during transport. If you ordered the CNA Skills Study Guide or the flashcards, they will fit inside the bag under the student practice kits as well.
Thank you for watching this presentation and stay tuned for some exciting new resources from 4-Year CNA, including laminated care plan sets, classroom banners, puzzle piece classroom activities, the CNA card game, and more. Join our mailing list on 4yearcna.com instructors to be the first to know.